Hi, today we are going to talk about native CentOS patching support introduced in TSSA 20.02 patch 1 released in September 2020. Before this version, CentOS patching in TSSA was supported via vendor patch content. However, BMC has now added the native patching support which will be similar to patching of existing YUM based operating system in TSSA like Red Hat. As we know, the first thing that we need to set up in TSSA for patching any operating system is, to, is a patch catalog. In order to create a patch catalog, we must pre-install the following packages on the server that hosts the patch repository. RepoSync, which is a part of YUM Utils RPM, Create Repo, Python-URL Grabber, BZIP2, and since we are using RepoSync, we'll also need outbound internet access on the patch repository server. Now let, let's log into the console and see how to create a patch catalog for CentOS in TSSA 20.02 patch 1. As you can see, I have now logged into the console and we'll create a patch catalog. So we'll go to the cons, uh, console depot. So I've created this folder here, patch catalog inside. There's a folder for CentOS and right click here, new, patch catalog. And the option for CentOS, sorry, and the option for CentOS is generic RPM patch catalog. So I'll click here. So here I have this wizard. I'll put a name here. And in the repository location, I'll provide the path to the patch repository server where I'm going to uh, store all the patches. So this is CentOS. This is the folder where I'm going to store the patches. For this demonstration, I'm using an online mode. Now, uh, the OS is selected here, CentOS. We'll uh, select the appropriate channels as well. So I'll click on plus here. So for this demonstration, I'll show with the CentOS 7 uh, for a patch catalog. And the repos that I'm going to select here are CentOS 7 base and CentOS 7 updates. So I'll select both of them here. I'll hit OK. As you can see, the options are pretty, uh, pretty much similar to what we have for Red Hat and other YUM based operating system. Uh, schedule, job notification, depot object items, uh, options, job properties and permission. It is similar to what we have for existing Linux and YUM based operating system. So uh, I'll hook, hit OK here and finish. So this is uh, how you create a patch catalog. Now in the interest of time, I've already created a patch catalog and uh, this is the one that i already created i'll double click and open it and i'll go to the results tab and you can see that this is how a successful patch catalog up, uh, update job will look like the number of rpms that are added updated and downloaded now since this is the first time i've cre I'm created there are no updated rpms have, there are no irrelevant rpms uh, i'll quickly do a show log here and this is how a successful catalog update job would look like. Now, uh, in the catalog, there are two uh, smart groups, RPM and irrelevant patches. Uh, there is no errata support as of now, so we have only RPMs and irrelevant patches. Now, let's see how to uh, create a patch deploy job. It is similar to what we have for uh, other Linux based operating system. I'll do a right click and analyze using this catalog. So this is similar to what we uh, have for other Linux based operating system. I've already created a job uh, which is a patch analysis plus deploy job and executed it successfully. I'll quickly open it and show it to you. I'll close it, go down. And in the jobs pane, this is the CentOS patch analysis deploy I've already created. I'll do a show results here. And so this is analysis plus remediation, object view and server view, similar to what we have for other operating systems, successful targets. This is the target that I used and the number of missing patches are 1059, which is similar to what we have for Red Hat and Linux based. So the UI is, is, is exactly the same. Now uh, in the remediation, we will have the successful target which is similar to what we have for 
other operating system and as you can see this is how a successful uh, uh, job would look like now uh, that for as far as troubleshooting is concerned uh, lock package and other things which are available for other operating system are, are, are available for CentOS as well so it is pretty much the same so this is uh, how we create a CentOS patching job in TSSA thank you so much for watching this video have a great day ahead bye bye